Today I'm going to talk about how to use your computer audio when connecting with people on Zoom. Now just to help you understand this, imagine that you're teaching a class in a traditional setting and you press play on the CD player or the audio player and everyone in the, the room hears it exactly the same. Okay. Now that's what we can do using Zoom by sharing our screen, or there are, there are actually two ways to do it, but the first way is to share our screen and play computer audio so that everyone hears the audio from your computer, not from your computer through your microphone to their computer. Think of it as like it, it sends the audio to everyone's computer. It's a really good way to think about it. Now, there are two ways to do this. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And I always forget to click the button, which is key, okay? But I just want to say something quickly on lighting because right now there's a window in front of me and I was going to record this video over here. Now you can see the big difference. My face isn't as clear, it doesn't look as good. The shadows are harsh, as they say. But if you get the window right in front of you, then uh, it looks a lot better and it's better for the user. Um, there's a, a link in the description that talks all about, or it gives you the recommended lighting setups for you. And there's some budget options there. And also this microphone is there too. So I'm sharing my screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, recording my screen. This is really confusing in a way because I'm using QuickTime to record all of this. But I'm going to share my screen and record a Zoom video so you can hear what the audio sounds like when the video is recorded. Okay. Share screen. Google Chrome, make sure this is clicked. Share computer sound, okay? Now you can also optimize screen share for video clip as well, which is really useful. But before I do that, I'm just gonna record the Zoom meeting so then I can do a clip of what the recording sounds like. Chrome, share. Now what's really useful is when you do the share screen, it opens up the screen you're sharing so that you as a user of Zoom can easily navigate that screen and your little camera's in that top corner. Thank you for passing by the channel. And today we are going to talk about how you can improve your English listening. Okay, so hopefully that was clear. Um, so this is a way for you to share videos and audio in a class with one student or as many students as you want. Now, there's another way to do it too. If you go to advanced, you can share computer sound only. If you click the little question mark, share audio from your computer without sharing your screen. So if I click share this time, right, it's going to keep this big thing on because of uh, the big, <laughs> my webcam on. But then if I click this, but then if I click this, how you can understand native English speakers when they talk, then it's just going to share the audio of that, not the video, um, which is, you can think about different ways that you can use that. Most people are going to use it where they share a video and something visual, but those are the, the, the those are the two main ways that you can share audio through your computer and send that directly to people on the other end okay so um if you have any questions leave them below check out my other videos that talk about how to use zoom how to teach online equipment that you need and yeah check out the description because i'll leave a, a list